is Dr. Clark on The Place for Answers. One of the common, this is probably the most common question that I think I get asked is what caused this Hashimoto's thyroid thing to begin with? Well, it's a kind of a simple but a complex answer, and what it boils down to is genetics and environment. It's kind of the old argument of you know nature versus nurture, if you've ever heard that. And what I mean is, is that there are known genes that make you at risk for developing an autoimmune attack on your thyroid gland. Okay, fine, we know those. However, just because you have those genes doesn't mean they're going to turn on and actually make you have the autoimmune attack. No, see, what causes that to happen is environmental triggers. Now, there's a whole bunch of environmental triggers, but the ones I want to tell you about, uh, these were just recently at a meeting in May of the uh, American Thyroid Association. Uh, there was a presentation where the presenter once again talked and proved that environmental compounds, things that you find in your environment, can trigger your autoimmune thyroid. And here they are. I'll make sure I don't miss any of them. Uh, the first one that he talked about was BPA. Now, if you've read or watched any of my videos, you know that BPA is a big, nasty chemical called bisphenol A, used in a lot of plastics. And it's kind of being phased out, but it is in almost every one of the canned foods that you're buying almost every one of them. And it is known that BPA does affect thyroid function and it can trigger th uh, Hashimoto's. Uh, he also talked about rocket fuel. Now, rocket fuel, you think, well, what the heck is that? How am I getting rocket fuel? Well, the studies that have been done that show that somewhere, and I'm not going to quote it exactly, at least 30 to 40 percent of women in America have remnants of rocket fuel in their body. So that's a, a very scary thought. Another trigger for Hashimoto's is uh, cigarette smoke. There are some compounds in cigarettes that can trigger Hashimoto. So guess what one of the risk factors for developing an autoimmune thyroid disease is? Smoking. Which smoking stupid anyway. Now one of the other things he talked about, and this usually causes a tremendous amount of controversy, and so I, 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 I can't wait to see the comments I get from this. Iodine. Here's what iodine does to someone who has Hashimoto's. It can, it can actually trigger your Hashimoto's. There's a lot of reasons we know this. Now, you may think, well, gosh, I saw my naturopath or my nutritionist or my alternative medical practitioner, and they said, I had low thyroid function. I needed iodine. Wrong. If you want to give yourself Hashimoto's, start taking some iodine. Remember, the number one cause of, uh, of, autoimmune, of uh, low thyroid in America, the number one cause of low thyroid in America is Hashimoto's. Now, check this out. This next part is extremely important for you to understand. Iodine excessive iodine, now we don't really know how to quantify that yet, but iodine is a trigger to turn on those genes that will give you Hashimoto's. That should kind of take your breath away. If you're taking iodine right now because you had low thyroid symptoms or you had elevated TSH, you might want to consider getting off of it and talking to someone who understands what I'm telling you about. In multiple parts of the world where people had goiters, you know, the sign of iodine deficiency, when they were given iodine supplementation. It cured their goiter and gave them Hashimoto's. And what that has proven is that iodine is a trigger for Hashimoto's. And I can, I can tell right now I'm going to get a bunch of comments about this. But that idea that everybody that has low thyroid needs iodine is bogus. It's from about 50 years ago. And forget the, thyroid, the iodine absorption test and all that. Forget that. This is, you've got to open your eyes and, 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 and start thinking and start realizing there's new science. And this environmental triggers will trigger your Hashimoto's, and iodine is one of them. So we've got BPA, cigarette smoking, rocket fuel, uh, and iodine. Now, there are a bunch of other triggers, but these were specifically mentioned at this meeting in May, and I thought this was fantastic because here's a guy talking to a bunch of mainstream medical doctors about thyroid. Now, what I think will be interesting is how many of them actually put any of that information into practice. I'm kind of cynical, but I will tell you, very few of them probably will. Even though that's at a thyroid meeting, what most of them are going to do is they're still just going to give you thyroid hormones. If you know, if you show up with Hashimoto's, you're getting thyroid hormone. They'll totally ignore any of these environmental triggers. They'll totally ignore your immune system. And that's why a lot of people that are watching this video right now still have thyroid symptoms, even though they're taking thyroid hormones and their labs are normal.